What? Uh, nothing. I'm gonna go over to there now. Jay, what's going on? Why is Amy's hair like that? Oh, she obsessively braids her hair when she's nervous, and she's super nervous because she's taking the sergeant's exam today. But Amy loves tests. Not this one. It's always been her plan to be the youngest captain in the history of the NYPD, but if she doesn't pass this exam, she's gonna have to wait another three years to take it again, and that'll disrupt her entire life calendar. Is that a real thing? It hangs over her bed. So she's stress braiding. Big deal. It's like a one on the Santiago panic scale. Yeah, but we've also jumped up to level two, creepily singing songs from the Great American Songbook. You're a grand old flag, you're a so, yeah, it's a little tough right now, but I think the worst is behind us. Why are you taking so long to cook my freaking oatmeal? Yeah. She'll be okay. Hey, what's going on, man? The answer to that question goes back to a brisk day in 1997. A day... You told a lie, but the lying stops right now! Oh no! You broke some poor kid's science project! We have to fix it! Kind of in the middle of something. Oh, you know what? Krebs cycle. I got this. Great. So, Danny, true or false, you were on the football team. True? And true or false, you had third period with Brandon Bliss. Mm, I honestly don't remember. It was true! We checked the records, and I have one more question. Oh, Jake, can you get me that oxygen on the floor? Little red guy? Huh? Sorry. You know what? Yeah, I'll get it. How do I get Holt to pay attention to me? Sure spends a lot of time on Peralta. Maybe I should start screwing up like Jake does. I can act out too, you know. Please do. Okay. Watch this. Oops. Two bottles of vodka. Is this gonna be the weekend we finally meet Six Drink Amy? Six Drink Amy? What does that mean? It's the pinnacle of the Santiago drunkenness scale. One drink, Amy's <laughs> a little spacey. Wait, what? Two drinks, loud Amy. You wanna get a cab? Three drinks, Amy dance pants. Four drink Amy is a bit of a pervert. Hey, check it out. And five drink Amy is weirdly confident. Let's do this, little man. But I've never seen Six Drink Amy. Maybe she's the one I could actually be friends with, AKA my Sasquatch. Captain, hmm? I want to tell you something. I think you're like when I was a little girl. You think I'm like when you were a little girl? Forget it, the moment's passed. Is this about your toast? How'd you get that? Gina gave it to me. Very well written. There are several compelling anecdotes. The fonts suit the tone. Good work. I did feel, however, the word choice could have been improved in spots. I marked them awk for awkward. That was the best thing anyone's ever said to me. I marked them awk for awkward? It's advice. He's mentoring me. Yes! This way, Sonia. What's going on? Is this a dream? No, I'm not holding a label maker. Santiago, your test result from the sergeant's exam has arrived. Ooh, everybody make room. Amy needs adequate space to do her signature dork dance. I don't know if there's gonna be a dork dance. Oh, look how small that envelope is. That's not a big good news envelope. That's a little bad news envelope. What? That's nuts. Sarge, tell her envelope size doesn't matter. If I'm being honest, I got a much bigger envelope. Oh, God. Unhelpful, Terry. Very unhelpful. Mine was bigger, too. Okay. I just won't ever open it. That way, I'll never get rejected. Fine. I'll open it. No! 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 Do it harder. I opened it. You passed. Oh, oh my god. I'm gonna be a sergeant. You're gonna be a sergeant! Yes! yes! Oh, no, it's happening! Woo! Yeah. That's my future wife! So, for I have only this to say, victory, victory shall be mine. mine. I heard you practicing in the shower. You can't surprise me. Letting me into your life was the worst mistake you ever made. Cool. Fun take on our relationship. I'm sure you had your reasons for going to Peralta, but this is exactly the type of job I would love to have. OK. The next time someone threatens to kill me, I'll come straight to you. Thank you, sir. I can't wait. I didn't mean, let's catch this bastard. Since there's a good chance that things are coming to an end, I just wanted to say thank you for everything that you've taught me. I know you may not see yourself as my mentor, but... Of course I do. I've been mentoring you all this time. What? 
This is day 1,282 of a nine-year mentorship I had mapped out for you. Under ordinary circumstances, I wouldn't reveal this to you until day 3,300. It was real. There was a binder. Not anymore. No! You can still mentor me if we don't work together. We could meet for breakfast every day. You could teach me over eggs. Eggs for breakfast. Further behind than I thought. Ah! No, look, okay, there are 10 hours left, sir. If you talk fast enough, you can teach me everything. Interesting. Okay. You have to take notes. Do you think you can keep up? Let's just say I was president of the stenographer's club in high school for a reason. Was the reason because you were the only member? Yes. Thanks for taking us, Marty. Please, Ray, we're family. Oh, hey. Neither of us can understand you at all. The visual examination doesn't show much inflammation, but these x-rays should be more telling. Let's see what's beneath the surface. Yo, stop! Santiago. I... Oh, God. I forgot I promised to help you, and I made plans to go to the Berkshires with my boyfriend. Oh. Wait. So you lied to me to get out of work? Yes. I may be a liar, but I've got great teeth, and no one can take that from me. Have you heard of overbrushing? Oh, no. Your aggressive technique has stripped away the protective enamel and much of your gum. You have seven cavities. I have to say, I feel like you deserve this. Astronomy is full of interesting facts. For instance, here's one that Hollywood doesn't want you to know. A parsec is actually a measure of distance. One of the many inaccuracies in the Star Wars universe. Mm-hmm, and was Star Wars. Oh, boy. Maybe I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, let's talk planets. Jupiter is a gas giant. So's Hitchcock, how does this help me? It also has 67 moons. I came up with a fun mnemonic device to remember them all. It goes, Every individual gets crayons after telling his aggressive little mongoose painter called Ernest some lies about tiny panda heads, period. Maybe one kid could take her elephant into California, except... Where's Gina? She told me you called me a gas giant. Well, now you and I will never hook up. Ugh, this is taking forever. Can't you just forge the signatures? I'm a notary, Rosa. You can't say stuff like that around me. I could lose my stamp over that. I've never met anyone who cares so much about stupid bureaucracy. Bureaucracy's not stupid. It's elegant. It's a beautiful puzzle waiting to be cracked. Every rule, every form has its purpose. It all fits together. And when the puzzle is solved and you take a step back and see the big picture, it's like staring into the face of God. Hey. You moved up a spot. Oh, you seem like a real nerd. Amy, I'm ready to go. Yep, totally. I'm almost done with this project, but I don't need to finish it because what matters is that you are going through something. And as your wife and love of your life... Are you I... vamping so you can finish that? I only have two molecules left. Come on, man. Jake, we need to talk. Yeah. You guys do need to talk. That sounds excellent. Friendship, so much history. I'm just gonna get this out of your way. Oh, man. Nobody could organize this place. Nobody. Here's what I need. Sticky notes, three sizes, 10 colors. Permanent markers, clickable only. I don't want caps slowing us down. And I need garbage bags, 33 gallon blackout synth shop. What are you all still doing here? Go, go, go! A 300 call number in the fine arts section? What is this, Beirut? You know, you don't work here. You don't have to reshelve the books. Well, someone has to. I'm so sorry. I'm just really stressed out. You're a great librarian, and I'm sure you're not the one who shelved this section. I am. God, Debbie, what is going on with you? Oh my God, she's totally gonna flunk us. I haven't gotten an F since I failed recess in second grade. Teachers need a break too, Amy. Oh, but you shouldn't feel bad. Only like 10% of people pass on the first try. I know, and I'm all exhausted because of the night shift. Plus, my bathroom break during the test took a little longer than anticipated. May I use the restroom, please? Uh-oh, nothing to see here. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Little desk. That's why they say it's test time, so diaper up. They say that. I've never said that. I've never worn a diaper during a test. Who would wear a diaper during a test? It's ridiculous. Santiago. I mean, sorry. Look. 
Don't give up on the green initiative. You're a great sergeant. You'll get everyone on board. Not Gina. Yes, Gina. You can handle her. You can do this. Sarge, it's test time. Diaper up. We don't think you're pregnant. Sharon's pregnant. Uh, that's not true. God, I hope it's not true. <laughs> what if Sharon's pregnant? Well, it would appear you figured out my little secret. Oh, we don't know no secret. You be crazy. I always talk like this down at Kokomo. I don't understand what is happening. Allow me to explain. Amy and I were ahead of you the whole time. No, you weren't part of this. Get back over to the loser side, loser. All right, worth a shot. So how'd you pull it off? Well, it all started when I went to tell Jake how badly he hurt my feelings, and he yelled at my breasts. Oh, boy, I am not going to come off well in this story. Nope. Remember when you set off the witch? <laughs> you made Captain Holt flinch, which was weird since his door was closed but not weird since he actually heard it over a bug he planted at your desk. It was in an old muffin that you never threw in the trash. That's why people throw away garbage. How are we together? <laughs> anyway, I tapped into the bug's frequency, so I had ears on Jake. I needed to know what Holt was up to. That's where Hitchcock came in. I masterminded the entire plan. You did one small thing, and I had to explain it to you like 45 times. He left a tiny crack in the blind so I could read the captain's lips. Sharon and your kids will distract Jake. They'll be here at 9.30 sharp. My waffle xylophone on the cheese man. What? My lip reading is not flawless. Now that I knew your plan, it was simple to disrupt. While Scully gracefully moved the witch, I got into character. Holt triggered the witch, which brought Jake into the room. And I threw the crown in the trash can. Exactly as I planned. Then I sent you all here, placed an out-of-order sign on the perfectly functional elevator, made you all walk up 31 flights of stairs and vomit twice. Actually, it was four times, if you count all the stairwell stuff. You thought I was just Holt's lackey. And you thought I was just Jake's girlfriend. Well, I'm my own person, capable of making my own decisions. And I decided to humiliate you both. Well, you did. And it was awesome. One last question. Where's the crown? Oh, it's at Shaw's Bar, the official site of my coronation. I don't love the sash. It's fine. I'm just going to get it. What? That's the first one you tried on. I once saw you look at 54 different accordion folders and not buy any of them due to weak tabs. I file hard. I need strong tabs. I just don't want to take up any more time. Your break's not even a quarter done. I'll stay another 10 minutes. You'll stay until I dismiss you. Irene, music. Now spin. All units attempt to 1030 Charlie Bodega on Smith. Purpose heading east on Baltic. That's us. We're on Baltic. Oh, crap, that was him! Hey! And let me just stop! Hey! <laughs> Stay down! Damn, Sarge. Maybe I do like the sash. Hello, Jacob. Ah! Hey, what are you doing here? Why aren't you out looking for the belt? You and I both know the belt never left the precinct. I don't know that. Nobody knows that. I kept thinking, how did anyone swap my key? And then it hit me. They didn't. They swapped the safe. One of the handmaids, I'm assuming fake Charles, took my safe and then, of Amy, deposited a look-alike. What did you give fake Charles so he'd help you? Nothing. In fact, he gave me something. The power of financial freedom. I invested in a pyramid scheme. It's no time to go into it right now. OK. So, while we all tried to figure out who had the real key, Fake Charles broke into the safe, removed the tracker, and led Terry and the whole squad on a wild goose chase. My only question is, which box is the belt in? Well, good luck figuring it out, because the clock is tick, tick, talking. It's that one. No! The dust pattern on top doesn't match its neighbors. You see, Jake, I'm always going to be one step ahead of you. You've lost the ability to surprise me. You're just plain boring. Again, weird take on our very loving relationship. And it's midnight, so I guess I'm an amazing human slash genius. Yeah. Although, you might want to read the inscription on that there belt. Why? Oh, no. What does it say? Amy Santiago, will you marry me? Surprise. OK, here goes. Ames. I love you. I love how smart you are. I love how beautiful you are. I love your face, and I love your butt. I should have written this down first. No, no, it's OK. Go on. I love how much you pretend to like Die Hard. I like the second one. You don't have to. OK. Yeah. You're 
kind and you're funny and you're the best person I know and the best detective. Also for reals, I love your butt. I love yours too. Gross. <laughs> Amy Santiago, will you marry me? Jake Peralta, I will marry you. <laughs> <sighs> I am psyched to go on this week-long cruise, just sitting around doing nothing. Straight up living that slug life, y'all. Cruise itinerary is hot off the laminator. Who's ready for some nonstop, totally scheduled fun? Oh, I actually thought we could just sit by the pool, eat unlimited shrimp, and see what it does to our bodies. That's cute. I don't know if there's gonna be time, though. The cruise offers 77 activities, and I signed us up for 76 of them. Speed dating for widows seemed like a bummer. Okay, so slightly different perspectives going into this cruise. Okay, I've got something. Oh, that's not Brandon's profile, it's mine. I just want a quick peek at your attendance record. Zero absences. Oh, mama. Printing this for later. Keep it in your pants, Santiago. Oh, that's exactly where it's going. Okay, you ready? Mm-hmm. Hello. Oh my god. Are you Melville Dewey? Indeed I am. I invented the Dewey Decimal System, but right now I'm working on the Doomy Decimal System. Mm-hmm. Yeah, this is really working for me. Really? Yeah. Awesome. So, Mr. Dewey, can you save me from the terrorists that have taken over Nakatomi Plaza? Yes, Holly Gennaro. I just need to file them in the library card catalog. Yeah, this is really hard to track. Let's just take our clothes off. Oh, thank God, this old jacket is so hot. Yeah. <laughs> this facility is a violent place filled with hardened criminals. We need to send someone who can blend in. Sir. I would be honored to take on this challenging assignment. <laughs> Why is everyone laughing? I can be a badass. You're raising your hand right now. We're in a meeting. Never have I ever had sex in the back of a car. <sighs> no way, everyone's done that? Yeah, except for you. Kylie, you're telling me you had sex in the back of a car? Actually, it was a school bus on the way back from Model UN with me and Mar. It's like I don't even know you. Look, we've done like nine rounds of this and you haven't drunk once. Maybe we should play something else that actually gets you drunk. I love you, dude, but you haven't had the craziest life. That's not true. I've done stuff. Just say ones that are a little less wild. Uh, never have I ever made a turn without signaling. Okay, a turn is a big deal. It's not like you said, never have I ever changed lanes without signaling. Never have I ever changed lanes without signaling. You guys are insane. Never have I ever accepted the terms and conditions without reading them. It's too risky. Left a movie without watching the credits. Those people worked hard. They used more than the recommended amount of conditioner. They make the conditioner. They know what they're doing. Slame, let's play something else. No, 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 okay. Never have I ever had a one night stand with a guy from a band. Whoops, yes I have. Whoa, I am V impressed, Amy V impressed. In fact, Kylie, it was the lead singer of your wedding band. Boom, that's right, I'm a wild girl. Watch out, Madonna. The party's not happening. That means we're just in a hotel in Rochester. This is a nightmare. I learned a bunch of new dance moves for tonight. Once where you move your butt. Hey, by the way, Amy was really nervous to meet you, so don't judge her too harshly for all the weird singing. Oh no, I'm dating my son of a bitch ex-husband. Who am I to judge? I think she's really great. I think you're really great, too. She's very good at lip reading. I wouldn't say I'm very good. I mean, deaf people, they're the real talents. Just can't stop. I'll let you guys talk. I'll just close my eyes. OK, well, I've been planning this wedding for the last six months. And if you told me yesterday everything that was going to go wrong, I would have had a panic attack that sent me into the ER. But I'm here. And I've never been happier. Life is unpredictable. Not everything's in our control, but as long as you're with the right people, you can handle anything. And you, Jake Peralta, are the right person for me. But I do have some bad news. There is a bomb at this wedding as well. What? Your butt. Your butt is the bomb. There will be no survivors. Please. How selfish. What? That little speech you just gave. It was all about you and what you need. How unbelievably selfish. Okay, well, I don't want to get mad right now because I know Amy's worried about you. Ah, so. uh, no, screw that noise. 
How dare you call Jake selfish? He just wasted his entire honeymoon trying to take care of you while you wallowed in your misery like a little baby. That seems a little harsh. Who does it? I don't give a hoot. Oh, damn. For the last five years, all I've done is give a hoot about you and what you think. Gave a hoot about you as a boss. Gave a hoot about you as a mentor. I gave a hoot about you as a friend. She gave so many hoots. Not anymore. After the way you've acted and what you just said to Jake, I don't give a hoot what you think. And I really don't give a hoot if you decide to quit the NYPD. So do it. I'm all out of hoots. I'm hootless. You're going to get the job and you're going to become commissioner. And we'll all figure out what to do about Murphy. I'm touched. But it's moot. We've missed the cargo plane. And now there's no way to get back in time for me to make my meeting. Nuh uh. Amy? What up, bro? I need you to climb back on that strungness ladder, and I need you to climb pretty high. How high? Remember that time we went to the deli for cold cuts and the ticket machine was broken, so you found out what time everyone arrived and made them get in a single file line from earliest to latest? Yeah. Higher. Copy that. You might want to stand back for this, sir. It can get pretty intense. All right, you mooks. Our union health plan has 100% reimbursement for out-of-state ambulance rides. Scully will fake a medical emergency. Don't need to fake it. Always having at least one. Great. You call an ambulance and have it take us here to Monroe, Louisiana. The ambulance can drive 25 miles over the posted speed limit, so we'll get there by 9 p.m. There's a small airport there, mostly servicing crop dusters. Of course, they can't take passengers. But thanks to a loophole in HR 377551, police officers are allowed to commandeer any plane in the interest of national security. The crop duster will land at an airstrip outside of Finksburg, Maryland. We take a cab to Baltimore, jump on the 6.40 a.m. train to New York, arriving at 9.26. Kevin will meet us at Penn Station with a fresh captain's uniform. From there, it's a 29-minute cab ride to one police plaza. You change on the way, and we should get to your meeting with five minutes to spare. Stop clapping, you idiots! We gotta move, move, move! I love her.